Hey guys, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is another video of psychiatry and in this video, I'll be covering an important topic which is called as malingering. So in order to understand the malingering, you must understand the factitious disorder uh, first and uh, I have discussed factitious disorder in one of my previous videos and just to give a brief idea, in case of factitious disorder, the patient produces symptoms upon himself or someone other and he is uh, you know, he doesn't know the motivation behind producing those symptoms. So the motivation behind producing the symptoms is not there. But in case of malingering, but in case of malingering, although the patient produces symptoms upon himself, so as to mimic a disease, but the patient also knows why he or she is producing those symptoms so the motivation behind producing those symptoms is present that is the sole difference between the factitious disorder and malingering that is the motivation like why is the patient producing those symptoms for example Let's say there is a female who comes to you with a history uh, and says that I am having right a lower abdomen colicky pain and I have also hematuria which she produced upon herself just by mixing the urine with the blood that she took out with a needle. So you will say that okay uh, she might has a renal stone and uh, you will pay the medical attention but in case of factitious disorder she doesn't know the motivation like why she is producing those symptoms at the first place she just wants to produce those symptoms but in case of malingering the uh, the motivation is known let's say there is a 40 year old male who comes to the hospital on a cold night and uh, says that he is getting auditory hallucination okay the doctors ask about some past psychiatric history and he doesn't have any but the patient is concerned about getting the admit admission in the hospital so this is the whole scenario here the person is concerned about getting admitted to the hospital because it is cold outside and he is producing those symptoms so therefore you know the symptoms they are there and why the motivation that is there like the patient is really concerned about getting admission that is malingering Another example is there is a, uh, you know, there is a military personnel and uh, who was, you know, just assigned to go to Iraq or somewhere else. And uh, now the military personnel say that he is having hematuria and uh, also right lower quadrant pain. And uh, he, he wants, you know, he wants a leave or he wants some extension. So here, you know, the symptoms they are being produced like the symptoms they are consciously being produced and why the symptoms are being produced like what is the motivation he wants the leave so therefore it is malingering and i do not consider malingering as a psychiatric dis disorder but factitious disorder is a psychiatric disorder so this is the malingering and the factitious disorder i hope you like this video for more videos like this do subscribe to our youtube channel